Today we've got ourselves some squats. We got 315 here on the bar and we're gonna pause with it for about 10 seconds. 10 seconds. It's I did this before the other day and it sucked. Hey. So let's get started. In case you weren't able to tell, that's another workout complete and gains made. Now let's get started with the rest of this video. What's up, bro? Welcome to a brand new video. There's nothing that kicks off your morning quite like taking an ice cold shower to shock your nervous system and wake you up so that you don't need caffeine. All right, you guys have seen me eat a lot of tacos on the channel, but today we're actually going to switch it up. In fact, we're making history today. You might have heard me say something about this before, but one of my favorite foods to eat is pizza. And that other food is breakfast tacos. And that's vastly different than regular tacos because you have your lunch tacos and you have your dinner tacos, which are still really good too. But breakfast tacos, in my opinion, they're just better because breakfast in the morning is how you start your day. So if you start your day right, your day ends up being amazing. And right now we have some breakfast tacos here. These are bacon, egg, and cheese with jalapenos to make my mouth hurt a little bit. And my day, in fact, is getting ready to be very much amazing. Here we go. Breakfast taco number one. Oh my gosh. I give it a ooh. I like the jalapeno at the end. I give it a nice eight out of 10. They're not the best breakfast tacos I've ever had. The best breakfast tacos I've ever had have actually been my own, but they're still really good. So about five months ago, I started YouTube for the very first time uploading that first video. And that was a huge step for me because that was me solidifying my new status as a YouTuber and actually committing to 
making videos and following a schedule of a brand new video every single Monday and I've never missed a single Monday and as time has gone on I've continued to improve with YouTube I've learned all the different logistics and how YouTube works and something I've said a thousand times is that my goal is to make every single new videos edits and the content the entertainment value everything that the video brings i want it to be better than the video that came before it and i have seen even just from looking at my thumbnails just how much i've improved over such a short span of time in just five months and i've been so thankful for youtube because it's been such a great learning experience i've learned more about myself and i didn't realize this at first but being a content creator being a youtuber but even before you're monetized it's still a full-time job especially if you're working towards that you know a video every single week that's a lot of work that people don't see behind the scenes and i don't think people actually realize that editing youtube videos takes up a lot of time and it it involves a lot of problems that i have to solve and work through not only do editing videos take up a lot of time a lot of my energy and it involves a lot of problems I have to solve, but it is highly stressful, you know, especially with me being so committed to making every video the best it could possibly be to both entertain and help you guys in the different ways I've chosen to do. It's really stressful when things go wrong. And a perfect example of this was that video I made on how to reduce stress. You know, ironically, I was trying to help you guys reduce stress and that video ended up, be ended up being the most stressful video I've ever made. Like this was the first video that I made on my new editing software. I was unfamiliar with how it was supposed to be used. I was unfamiliar with all the tools and I had just straight up never used it before. The biggest contributor to my stress in that video on how to reduce stress was not using the software itself. It was a fact that I had a deadline. It was that I said that I upload a brand new video every single Monday. My goal was to get that video in at 10 in the morning for you guys to watch so it can actually help you guys start your day. And because I was using that new software, it was extremely complicated to me and I was nowhere close to getting the video done in that deadline. And it got to a point where it started to become very evident in my mind, like, oh my shit, like I'm getting ready to miss a Monday, even though I committed to not missing a Monday. And I recognized I put a lot of stress and pressure on myself to meet that commitment. But you guys have to understand that, you know, I'm going all in with this and you know, the idea of missing a Monday like literally makes me sick to my stomach. And in that moment, I questioned myself and said, Nick, is this really for you? Maybe it's time for you to move on. So the same nights that I was uploading that video and was having so much trouble, I finally ended up finishing it on time. Thank God, right? So I put my Mac down, closed it up, and then I just went out and started walking. And I ended up coming here to this peaceful spot on campus. And then I came over here, sat down, and talked myself through some really important things. All right, man, the first important thing was that I had to recognize that in that moment of struggle, trying to upload this video and get it done, it was, a, it was obviously a very high intensity, high stress situation that induced a lot of anxiety in myself. And I had to accept the fact that for a moment, like I had considered quitting, even if just for a moment. I didn't even want to process the thoughts of not staying true to my commitment and uploading a video every single Monday. Like that would make me feel like such a failure. And yes, that's being very hard on myself and putting a lot of pressure on myself. But you have to understand that when I first started YouTube, I decided I was going to give it everything I had. And I spent a lot of time processing and trying to think of every little micro detail that would be crucial to my success. Now, here's the thing, man. Every single major goal is going to be a long journey. It's going to be a lot of setbacks, a lot of successes, a lot of peaks and valleys, and 
climbing that uphill battle, you know, climbing this insurmountable mountain. But the thing is, you have to keep fucking climbing it, man. And it's not about the struggles. It's about over overcoming those struggles and not letting them hold you down. Even though I had made the decision to never quit and to now attack my dream with even more determination and with more willpower and drive, there was still one piece missing. See, I had the vision, now I needed a method. And I hate to say this, man, but the method I've been using so far, it just hasn't been working. Obviously, when I was over in that other spot, I had come to the conclusion that quitting was no longer an option. It's not even something I would entertain in my mind for one second. It, now that I have a vision of moving forward, I now have to apply a method to the madness. And like I said, I don't think that the method I've been using has been largely effective. And the thing is, I sat down for a long time thinking about this and, and consulting with people that I trust. And something that I've realized is that a lot of you guys simply cannot watch my videos when they drop on Mondays at 10. I guess this is not how it works because that's the beginning of the work week or if you're in school like I am, then it's likely that you're in classes and you don't have the time to sit down and watch a video. So the suggestion that was made to me was to then start uploading on Fridays or some later day in the week instead. Now I gotta be honest, man, when I first started thinking about this and started accepting that this is probably gonna be my new reality, I hesitated. Now, part of the reason I was so apprehensive is because for the past five months, my whole life has been centered around YouTube. You know, I get homework done as quickly as possible and try to stay ahead of other tasks. My coaching sessions, you know, my lifting sessions, you know, for myself, my powerlifting and bodybuilding programs, everything that I do has been centered around YouTube. And if I upload every single Monday, then I have to then plan things around that. So that goes for how I plan a video, how I film a video, everything is done in that specific way. And to change up the schedule that I've been following for such a long time would not only change how I've been living my life, but it would fundamentally change the channel. But here's the thing, man, the more that I think about this and process what this would look like in my mind, the more I see this being a situation that would bring me more success and faster growth. Because if more of you guys can watch a video when it goes live, the more I can reach new people and the faster I can grow my following, the faster the videos can reach people. And overall, I think in my schedule with it, my Fridays being so open, I would have a lot of time to do exactly what I need to do. So that's what we're gonna do. So we just got through watching this new movie called Yes God Yes. It was recommended to me by old friend of mine named Kara. Shout out to you. If I'm giving this movie an honest rating, I give it a, I give it an eight out of ten, like a solid eight out of ten. It was it was very entertaining. I did fall asleep though. But in my excuse or in my defense, I'm very tired and I need to get some much needed sleep. But anyways, I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a little bit more of a chill video this time around and kind of update you guys on my life and let you know what's going on and, you know, just keep you guys updated on changes with the channel. You know, it's, I'm glad to have all of you guys on this journey with me. It, it means the world to me. I'm never going to give up. I'm never going to you know, quit on you guys. This video is going to be pretty dope. So you definitely want to stay tuned. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up right here. So if you made it to the end, I appreciate you so much, man. Give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome. Click subscribe and ring that bell because I release brand new videos just like this one every single Friday from here on out. Repeat, there will not be a new video on Monday, every single Friday, and you don't want to miss it. I will see you on that Friday for another dope video. No sacrifice, no fish.